Hi guys, showed you I picked this up in a charity shop. It's a Hot Wheels Battle X toy car. Uh, you need at least two of them and they fight each other. You attach them by these strings. One, well, I assume you attach it there, but they spin round each other, as far as I can tell. And eventually, one of them stops before the other. I think that's what it said when I read the instructions. Anyway, it's missing the bit on top that holds it all in place. There's a piece that screws down on here that eventually comes loose. Um, that bit there is locked in place by whatever it is that fits up here. And when this eventually comes loose, that flicks up and the car stops moving. So completely useless without all the bits and pieces and another car, but we will just have a look and see if we can get it going. Okay, how do we start it off? It's got a bit of sticky tape on the back there for some reason. No obvious on off button. Oh, there we are. <laughs> yes, there is. There's a very obvious on off button. Oh, that says try me. I think. No, that is on off. Nothing happens. We need that to be locked in place. Still nothing happening. Not looking very positive, is it? Yeah, I reckon we're going to be taking this apart. Oh, started moving. That's slowly drawing the string in. And that's spinning round. And the wheels are turning underneath. Just a loose connection there somewhere. Oh well, I'll see if I can rig something up to connect it to. Oh, that doesn't want to come open now. That seems to be jammed. I'm sure when I played it with it in the shop originally, the first time I saw them, that came open quite easily. Came open, came out quite easily. I reckon that's wound up inside and got oh, nutted up somehow. Ah, that does it. Seems to. I reckon that's wrapped up inside. I think I'll take it apart and then see if we can get it going. screws in there.
some reason. Okay, a little bit of hair in there. Yeah. I'm not supposed to stop it on that region. And end up having to take all this gearbox apart. That could be fun, but there's lots of springs in that to come apart and get lost. That's a sort of a clutch thing, so that goes in, that pushes, oh, better zoom in a bit, haven't we? Right. That goes down through there, I'll just see if I can put it back in just to act as a lever. A fulcrum, I mean, because yeah, that, you see, acts as a clutch, or at least that's what I'm calling it for now, anyway. I'm 
sure the string was much longer on the other one, but that seems to be the full length. Okay, right, so we've got a gear on there, or teeth. Oh, I see. So that turning, or that is turned by the worm gear on this shaft here. So that slowly winds the string in. See that that is slowly winding that string in. Yeah, okay. Uh, can we get this out very easily? Yes, is the answer. Just went on the floor. Right. So, well, I was saying clutch. It's just a sort of a hexagonal clip. So when that's out, yeah, that holds it in place. Push it out, and that would release the string. in and then if that's pushed that would release that and let it out again okay you can see the worm gear there quite clearly Well, I might as well have the rest of it out anyway. Right, well looking at it in the casing, we can clearly see that's the electric motor. I would guess it's got pinion gear on the end of it that's driving a bigger gear there. That's probably got a small gear on the side of it that's driving a bigger gear there. That's actually driving the wheels. And it will also be turning this one. So, let's have a look at that, see if we can get in there. We've got one screw, and then I think it's clipped together again. There's a clip there. Done that one, it's just not 
dropping through for some reason. Isn't that coming apart? Oh, there we go. Clip there. Did I miss that first time? That's going to snap in there. See if we can work around it gently. Trying to be gentle because these do have a habit of snapping these sort of clips. something in there to lever it with. So let's keep a bit of pressure on it while I I was shot when I finally got it to move. Typical. Still, we got that loose now. We can get that one off. Right. Let's see if we can do this so the camera can see it. So we've got motor, gear, gear. Right. Well, that was a lot of effort just to get that undone. So, nice motor, pinion gear, driving that gear. That looks like it's got some sort of clutch or something on it. Oh, we can take that out and look at it. Yeah. But then that drives that, and then that drives that crown gear, which is the one that does all the turning. That one. Right, let's have a look at this thing. It's got 
spring on it. Yeah, in the middle. I got those teeth. So we've got sort of, I don't know, I don't know the correct term for it. But the idea is it allows it to clip over itself. So it should do that rather than break teeth when it's being stressed. that all the way in you probably see teeth in there it's fairly common in these toys in one form or another some of them are they look completely different they do the same trick so that's what's inside can we get it back together Seems to fit in all right with no trouble. Oh, I see what's given me trouble before. There was a capacitor on there. And I've broken that, getting it apart. Well, I'm not actually going to worry about replacing that, but that's what it was. I think that's to re reduce electrical interference. But they must have put that on after they put it together. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get this back together. All right. Camera just stopped for a second then. I think we're okay. Just put this back in place. That's the bit that levers that in and out. And that goes down through there. That goes over the top. Sometimes having a magnetic screwdriver is good, and sometimes it has the reverse effect. That's back together. That hasn't clipped on there properly. That's better. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So I need to go and resolder that before we do any more. I've been a good boy. Put a replacement capacitor on there. And I've resoldered the lead. So now that's 
worker. So, can we get it back together? How can we point the wheels in the right direction, I expect? Be quick, battery's just gonna run out on the phone phone camera. Spring needs to go the right way around. screws I was trying to use somewhere else going in there because they were the small ones yep Floor, didn't I? Because I dropped everything at one time. Digging, find out what I've done with that other screw. Well, I've got it back together. And I'm trying to get some idea of what it does. When it pulls the string right in, yeah, as you can see it. It jerks itself a bit. Whether it's supposed to do that or not, I don't know. But that's making it spin round now. So that's probably more like the real battle would be. Rather than just going round in circles.
but eventually that top would wind up and release that flipper thing, which it can't do because we haven't got it. So to make sure it actually worked, I've just put a big rubber band around it to hold this flap down because as soon as that's released, that goes down and the car stops moving. So there we go, a Hot Wheels Battle X car, disassembly, tear down or whatever, back together and we've seen it work. Job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.